So over the past years of customizing, I painted a lot of custom hats. And not just for me, but also for friends of mine. And in this video, I want to show you my process. So without any further ado, hit it! For this video, I use this sculpt, which I love because it has a lot of nice details on it. Paint? Not yet. First I have to clean up the sculpt. As I said, I love the details, but there are some nasty mold lines on it, which I remove with my X-Acto knife. And in this case, I need to dremel up the next socket as well. Beware of that nasty resin dust. You really don't want to breathe that stuff in. A clean workspace is a happy workspace. This house is clear. Paint? Hold on, hold on. I need to clean the sculpt as well, to remove all the releasing agent. Otherwise the paint won't stick, no matter how good you prime it. Paint! Yes! Bring out the colors! I always start with the eyes. I start by completely fill the eye sockets with my favorite black. And for the best result, I'm not being careful or neat at all. I just make sure the entire eye is nice and black. Next, I take out my ammonia to remove all the fatty acids from the sculpt. Cleaning your sculpt before painting is so 2019, you know. With the white of the eye, I start work a bit more careful and I make sure that the upper line of the eye stays nice and clean. Oh, oh God, it's everywhere. Using the same black again, I paint the pupil by making multiple small vertical lines. And again, I just have to worry about keeping the upper line clean. Next, I refine the pupil with cleaning up the white again. And while that is drying, I start working on the skin. It rubs the paint on its skin or else it gets the hose again. I prime the skin using Revel Aquacolor skin color. Well, Caucasian skin color. I find the Revel paints adhere greatly to plastic or resin. And the fact that it comes in so many colors really is a big advantage over using a rattle can primer. By carefully painting the skin tone underneath the eyes, I clean all the mess I made and I get a very nice, neatly painted eye. I really love how it seems to come alive by just painting the eyes. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Then I use Citadel Dwarf and Skin to mix and match the skin tone that I want. A more detailed explanation of how I mix and match, right there. Now all I have to do is making sure that I get a nice and even coat of the actual skin tone. To create a more realistic look, I paint the lips and underneath the eyes in dwarf and skin. And after one final round where I use a very thin layer of paint to clean up any mistakes, the skin of our soldier is done. And now for the hair. And don't come out till you're nice and blonde. Wow, it's long geleden that ik my hair geverfd heb. <laughs> blonde hair on action figures tends to be very yellow. And therefore I like to use Revel Wood Brown as a base. After I painted a solid coat of wood brown, I want to create some depth in the hair. So I start shading the hair using Citadel's Agrax Earthshade, which is a nice and deep brown. And while that is drying, I carefully start to highlight using Scale 75's Peanut Butter. And I'm using an overbrushing meets layering kind of technique. I want to paint to mix just a bit with the shading that I just put on it. The result is this very nice and convincing looking blonde hairdo. 
While I wait for the hair to dry, I start painting the bandana. Again, I use Revel as a primer and as a base layer. Then I use the same black I used in the eyes to paint the tiger stripes. And I try to be as random as possible. I then mix a nice light yellowy beige using the colors that are already on my wet palette so I get some consistency in my color scheme and I put it besides the already painted tiger stripes. While the bandana is drying, I paint the eyebrows. I shade the bandana using a nice green shading. I put in some extra highlights in the hair and then all the painting steps are done. No more paint. So now the painting is done, I want to protect the paint job of course. So I put a layer of varnish over it. First a layer of gloss varnish and then my special mix of glossy and matte varnish to create this satin kind of varnish to take off the sheen. And as a finishing touch I just put a little bit of glossy varnish over the eyes and the lips. Which will make them look moist. And there is the end result. And there you have it. Now you know my process of painting heads. And no way is that. Stop it. I hope you liked the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have fun guys. Bye bye Joes. Bye bye. What? Hit it! Paint? Paint! Agrax, Earth, Agrax, Earth, Agrax, Earth, Agrax, 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 Agrax.